about to go back. I sound like a fiend every time. It's the last time. Could this be reality or all in my mind? All in my mind. Not from me. Not mine. The amp is mine. The music is not. Copyrights. They tried to hit me with copyright flags. Triple MOSFET amp. Actually, double MOSFET. And a ceramic uh, transistor. 16 volt capacitor. 1200 microfarads. Using only one resistor on the main MOSFET. Two 10 volt batteries in series, parallel, I'm sorry, with the charger, which puts on 10 volts in a pulsating rate. That's what charges it, but having it plugged in while it's charging is helping, but it's getting stronger as I go. It's one of the loudest amps I've ever built. Just let you go ahead and. Just give you guys a general idea. 280 pounds of hay. Every damn day I have to test all 25 lighters on my dress up. Yes, sir. This is a tweeter. And if you look right here, that's the crossover. You see it runs to the, uh, the red wire to the speaker. I know it should be yellow, but I got it connected to the yellow wire, the black wire, the negative to the other speaker. So, actually, the negative goes over here. I might have it put it backwards according to the wire, but it's still hooked up right now. I got it separate. It's a built in crossover, my own built in crossover. One of the loudest amps I've ever built. It throbs, man. And the reason why I ran the batteries in parallel with the charger like that is because it gives it more amps rather than volts. If I ran in a series, it would be too many volts. It could fry the transistors. It would get them too hot. Or the MOSFETs, I should say. Um, it could fry, it could fry them. So anyway, um, when you run them in parallel, you get more amps rather than volts. So that's where the watts and stuff comes from, the power, is the amps. All right, let's see here. Give me another example here. Let's get some bass music up here. You can even hear me clicking. Sorry about the ads, guys. I've always had trouble with my weight. Uh, let's see. Now with Wegovi, I see real change. I've lost weight. And I'm keeping it Let's off. Let's do a base test. We've only had reduced yeah. my appetite. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. What we got here? This is good. I like this track, but let's go with this one. Test music. That's this, the horn. Thanks to my crossover. So what this does is block out the low end, the bass. Because this speaker wouldn't be able to handle that kind of bass. This is a 200 watt speaker. So if this series of MOSFETs is pushing this 200 watt speaker this loud, I wouldn't want that going through the tweeter because it'll blood. So it takes out the low end. There's still a little distortion. So I'm going to pull it back one on the volume so it clears up. There you go. And here, I'll show you, just so, so you can see the tweet is working. Like, when I face away from it, you can't hear the tweet, but watch when I face the tweet. I'm face it away again. It should pop back on. I don't know why I did that, but watch. I'll face it towards me again. Another homemade amp, guys. 
One of the loudest. This is just all mine. <laughs> Endless supplies of electronics. Arduino products and such. It's literally shaking the walls, dude. So it's got to be at least a hundred watts. Slight distortion, but not much. Again, I just use a 16 volt, uh, 1200 microfarad capacitor to push a 1200 watt. 